about the change. Yeah. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Hi there. Hi, good evening, guys. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like our weekends are always a little muddy around here because it's when we have our rain chances returning, and that's no different this weekend. The question is, will the wet weather last through the entirety of the weekend? We may be able to salvage, I think, part of it. So let's talk about what's happening on radar tonight. Quietly, at the moment, it's quiet here close to home, but we're watching showers and storms work their way up. For example, I-65. I know many of you take that stretch when you're driving south down towards Nashville. Basically, it's working up from the south tonight through Kentucky, and will eventually showers will reach us later on tonight, probably after we've gone to bed. But rain chances will continue to increase as we go into the day on Friday. So yes, humidity levels will soon be on the rise, and so will our rain chances as well. Outside right now, plenty of blue sky and boy, some mid May sunshine out there. We've tied today, at least for one of the warmer days of the year. We made it up to 82. We're at 81 right now. Here's the reason why it's still going to take us a little while to get any shower activity in here, right? Look at our dew point and humidity, both of which are relatively low, albeit they are climbing especially because we've got this southeasterly wind. Notice our winds have gone southeasterly, so we're now kind of opening the gate for that muggy air to return. But I think we've got a mostly dry evening, a kind of an early summer like evening around here with temperatures very warm. We'll be in the 70s probably through maybe 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And most of tonight's going to be dry and mild. We'll stay in the 60s. The threat for showers will go up after midnight. I'll show you how the satellite looks tonight. And again, you can see the increase in clouds and moisture as that muggier air begins to slide its way up the Ohio River. Look at the dew points tonight. Notice those 60s. Basically, that's where you follow the rain threat. Notice how it's working its way up through Kentucky tonight. So muggy air will get here while we sleep. With that will come the threat for showers as well and increasing rain chances by Friday morning. So most of this evening, a good chunk of the night is just dry and mild. So you'll get to enjoy a nice Thursday evening. Tomorrow morning, it's showing up dry on here. And I think for a lot of us, it will be. But I can't rule out the chance for a spotty shower. And then as we get a little bit warmer in the daytime hours tomorrow, we'll probably have some hit and miss showers and storms around the area. I'm not terribly worried about severe weather, but a few of the downpours or stronger storms could have maybe a pocket or two of gusty winds, a little thunder and lightning in there as well. And then we'll keep the threat for showers and storms going through Friday night. In fact, there could be some areas that see heavy rain overnight Friday and into early Saturday before Saturday afternoon. We deal with more scattered showers and storms. Sunday looks to be the driest day of the weekend. So showers late tonight as it turns muggy 62 for an overnight low tomorrow scattered downpours with a few storms humid 77 for your afternoon high and essentially you could have a downpour or storm at any point tomorrow, but the coverage will tend to be greatest during the afternoon and evening. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So Friday's a weather impact day. I'm going to leave Saturday as well a weather impact day, and I should mention that overnight Friday and the Saturday again, there's the potential for some localized areas to pick up some very heavy rain. So that might be something we need to watch there with a localized flood threat Friday night into Saturday morning. Otherwise, Mother's Day, we're salvaging it, at least looking drier for the most part. There's still a rain chance in there, especially Sunday evening, but most of Mother's Day should be nice. And then looks like we might get into a fantastic stretch of kind of late spring weather going into next week. Kevin, thanks a lot. Before you buy tickets to your